I'm Amy Vance from the University of Missouri Extension in Clay and Platte County, and this is uh, Sean Kamal, I'm a Platte County 4 H. So someone's going to join me today, and we are going to make peanut butter and jelly muffins. So the first thing we want to do before we start cooking anything is we want to wash our hands. So to wash our hands, we want to make sure that we wash the insides of our hands. We want to wash the outsides of our hands. We want to wash between our fingers. And then we also want to wash our fingernails if they're dirty because we've been playing outside. If you have a nail brush, you can use a nail brush. Then we want to rinse them and dry them, and then we can start cooking. So Selma's going to mix all of our ingredients today for us. So first thing we're going to do is preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Make sure you ask your parents for help if you're young. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna add to our muffins is four eggs. And you might need parent help to crack the eggs, but you always wanna make sure that you crack them in a separate container. That way, if you get any eggshells in them, you can just pick them out real easily. And then we also wanna wash our hands after touching eggs. So after we've added our four eggs, we're gonna add a cup and a half of flour. Um, and I know flour is a little hard to find right now, but feel free to use whatever type of flour that you can find. After we add our flour, we're gonna add a half a cup of nut butter. We're using peanut butter today, but you're also welcome to use soy butter or almond butter or whatever butter that your family has on hand. Once we get our peanut butter in, we're gonna use a fourth of a cup of local honey. And we're using local honey because we like how it helps our immune system. And it also tastes better because it doesn't travel as far. And we want to make sure that we're getting all the honey out of our container. Sorry, Selma. Okay, so once we've got our honey out, then we're going to add in a half a teaspoon of salt, or a fourth a teaspoon of salt, a fourth a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. So those are our first ingredients that we're going to mix together. So someone's going to go ahead and mix those together. And this is the base of our muffins. So you want to mix them really good, but we don't want to over mix them. So think roughly 50 to 80. So while she's mixing that up, these muffins, when they're done, um, roughly makes about 12, depending on how full that you fill your muffin tins, but it's roughly about 190 calories. Um, there are also 12 grams of protein and 6 grams of fiber, or 1.5 grams of fiber. Um, so these are really good for you. They're also really great to take with you on a picnic. You can pair them with some fruit um, and have a nice little picnic out there with them. So Selma's mixing this up really good. How's it going, Selma? Good. Getting a nice arm workout? Yeah. Make sure you the fire from the bottom. Did you hear that someone said we got to make sure we get all the flour from the bottom. Okay, so now that she's got it mixed up, when we were at the grocery store today, we were also having problems finding just blueberries for our peanut butter and jelly. So we're going to do a frozen mixed fruit. You are welcome to leave out the fruit and just add jam or jelly once they come out, or you can add whatever your favorite fruit is. So we're just going to gradually fold these in. If we mix them too much, then it turns our muffin mix blue and it's not very appetizing to eat. So just gradually fold them in so they're mixed in. Good job, Selma. So once Selma gets those all folded in, She's gonna place them in our lined muffin tray. If you don't have liners, you can also spray your muffin tin and you want to heavily spray it so that you make sure that you can actually get the muffins out so that you can enjoy them. So someone's gonna fill these up and once she's done filling them up, we're gonna put them into the oven for um, 15 to 20 minutes and you can have an adult help you check them just making sure that they're cooked all the way through and then you let them cool and you enjoy them. So we'd love to hear what you think about our muffins. Um, just leave a comment below on um, how your muffins turned out or go ahead and post a picture. 
Um, so Sam and I are going to finish these up, but we hope you enjoy your muffins.